Most agree with the decision to close schools for the duration of this school year, and that includes a social studies teacher here at Dag Hammershald Middle School in Wallingford, who's impacted by the decision in a couple of ways. I don't think we could uh, keep the students six feet apart from one another. I think, you know, you have to be safe and we have to stay home. She's currently home with her husband and their two sons, including one who is a high school senior. Well, it's definitely like a sad and tough, tough time. You know, I uh, went to school on that Thursday, March 12th, knowing or without knowing that I would never go back. We want a graduation ceremony. I think they deserve it. Um, it's been very hard. For now, graduation for both of Wallingford's high schools is scheduled for June 16th. And Josh has an idea. Maybe something like a motorcade where we could just ride around town with everybody like supporting us maybe meet up at town hall with and get the diplomas or something. State education leaders are already well into looking forward to next school year. We have to put some very complex plans together in order to um, recognize social distancing, in order to have the PPE equipment, etc. And she says they may have to account for PPE for students as well. That is incredibly complex. How many masks do you need for a child for a day? Do you agree with this decision? Yeah, it was definitely the right thing to do. I really want to go back into my classroom and be with my students and my colleagues. I miss them all. And starting the 2021 school year on time in late August, no sure thing yet. In fact, there's been some discussion, if necessary, of staggering school schedules in various ways. In Wallingford, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.